If you're in a situation where you need to familiarize yourself with a way of analyzing more than two factors of variance for a distinct data set, you may want to continue watching. The solution to your problem is pretty simple. It's a method of analysis called the Latin square. Latin squares are a method of statistical design where we may incorporate three distinct factors into a grid to formulate a resultant that may be used to make further assumptions about the system in question. In simple terms, Latin squares really just give us a means of analyzing three factor problems we may run into. Latin squares are organized such that they can be no less than four results or a two by two table. We line our data such that factor A may define the rows, factor B may define columns, and factor C, also known as our treatment group, appears once and only once in every row and column. Though very similar to that of a three factor ANOVA, Latin squares differ in that they cause much less confusion when formulating calculations, whereas a three-factor ANOVA forces us to draw out every single row, column, and treatment, a Latin square can repeat factor orders and values without disrupting the integrity of the variation, thus making for a much simpler representation of the data. In this example, we attempt to use a Latin square to determine what factor plays the biggest role in the clock rate of a CPU. We take power to define our rows, temperature to define our columns, and the processor type to define our treatments. Upon filling in our Latin square with our collected data, we may begin to calculate the values needed to create our analysis of variance, aka our ANOVA table. We use the sums of squares to try and determine the overall variance which each factor deviates from their respective means. Upon some thorough calculations, we can move on to our table. If you'd like to refer to the screen and take a crack at those formulas, you're more than welcome. Judging from the data presented in our ANOVA table, temperature and the type of processor appears to have a much greater impact on the overall clock rate of a processor. The power expended by the processor doesn't cause a significant change in the clock rate. Overall, as demonstrated in the example, Latin squares are a viable method of discerning the impact of a factor unique to the resultant of a given set of data. It is not as widely used as it could be, but it proves to be of use when set up correctly.